Today, we're going to be talking about 20 financial tips I learned in my 20s. Okay. Number 20, you've got to love your work. You've got to be proud in your hustle. You've got to enjoy what you do. You know what they say, when you love what you do, you'll never work a single day in your life. Number 19, be wary of fast cash, guys. Let me tell you, in your, in your early 20s, you tend, tend to get tombs from, you know, high souls, from uh, your parents are still giving you allowances and such. Such money has a tendency of getting in your pocket and out immediately because you're tempted by impulse purchases, you know. So the best thing to actually do is get this money, throw it in an account somewhere where you can't really touch it instantly. That's why you'll notice when you're in your 20s, you'll be broke, but you're not poor. That's why your money is always constantly going out on rubbish things. 18. Start saving immediately. From your first job, your first paycheck, the first amount of cash you earn by yourself, you've got to save a bit of it. Don't even postpone it. Some guys postponed waiting that, you know what, I'll do it after some time, but start immediately. You never know when this actually bear fruit for you, so start immediately. Number 17. Open an account with a circle, guys. Circles have the best loan facilities and saving facilities in this country, I promise you that. When you start putting in your cash, you earn interest immediately from 10%. Can you imagine? No other financial institution will give you that kind of loan. And you can borrow up to three times the amount you save. So it's actually an effort that pays off at the end. Number 16, money and alcohol. Yeah, I know it's sensitive, but let me tell you the truth there. Yeah? These two don't mix. You have no business spending your first paycheck buying the biggest bottle of Hennessy or champagne out there. You'd rather spend on buying it at your local or buying, you know, that car, the one you used to buy in campus. You'd better do that because you have no one to impress. It's just yourself. So you know what? Do you. Number 15, living within your means. Guys, this is self-explanatory, but I don't understand how come people miss it. If you earn 10,000 bob, you cannot spend more than 10,000 bob. Especially in this age where mobile loans are the everyday calling in your phone, on TV, everywhere. Guys, if you can afford it, don't take a loan to pay for it. It's that simple. Number 14, giving out loans. One cardinal rule I have to share with you is you should not be giving out loans, especially to family guys. Let me tell you, if guys can actually afford to ask you for money, they can go ahead and ask for money from banks and financial institutions. You know why? Because one or the other they'll be forced to pay. Or if your conscience hits up on you and you feel like you need to give out, always give an amount that you're prepared to lose. So if you're being asked for 10K, are you ready to lose like 2K? You can give out that 2K and forget about it. Number 13. Living for the gram. Guys, I can't even say it. You cannot live your life for the gram. When I started out, social media was not a thing. We didn't have to take photos of uh, what to eat, where we're going to ball, or even enjoy ourselves and post it on Instagram. Keep it simple. Enjoy yourself. You don't have anything to prove. And I guarantee you, 90% of the people you see standing on the gram are faking it. Number 12. Getting a loan for a vehicle purchase. Let me tell you guys, if you, if you want to buy a vehicle on a loan, make sure the vehicle you're buying fulfills its purpose. That is, to get you to work or your hassle. If your motive spends more time parked in the car or ferrying friends from one batch to another, that's really a bad investment. I'm really not against you guys buying motives. Buy them, but make sure it works for your hassle. Number 11, this is a dating tip for the guys. Guys, if you're in your early 20s, you have no business getting into a fully time full-time committed relationship which takes you out of your comfort zone. 20s are for exploring, so you know what, explore. Unless you get your soulmate, that's the only exception I'll give you out here. But if you're in your early 20s, your time is to sponsor yourself. Don't sponsor anyone else. Boy, child matters, guys. Guys, remember, you can't save everyone. Pick your struggle. Loans for I don't know my son's school fees, loans for I don't know what, I haven't paid rent. You have to know who to save and who to just say no to. That's simple. Number nine, dating for the ladies. Ladies, let me tell you one thing. You have no business supporting a guy who cannot support himself or a guy who does not have potential. If you can see some growth in him, that's fine. Go ahead. But you know what? Don't spend your money buying a guy drinks while you're busy in the office toiling and he sits at your house watching TV all day. No, that's not for you. Ladies, you need to be independent, you need to be secure and find a man who supports you. This sponsor culture really doesn't work. Number eight, because of the last point, huh? insurance for yourself. 
Guys, if you can spend tunes on buying drinks or buying whatever you need to buy, spending money on the most expensive phone, you can afford to put money aside to buy insurance for yourself. When you, you never know when you need insurance until you actually need it. Get NHF and insurance for yourself. Number seven, insurance and NHF. Guys, in your 20s, you tend to feel invincible. But let me tell you, face it from now on, the older you get, the more susceptible you are to diseases and accidents. So it pays to actually spend to get an NHF cover, and if you can afford it, and a proper insurance cover. And especially for your parents. If your parents are not working, get an NHF cover for them, because trust me, when they actually need it, it's you who will be putting the bill. It's better when you have an NHF cover, because it caters for everything. And it's only 500 shillings a month. I mean, you can spend that. Number six, unplanned pregnancies. Guys, let me tell you something. If you feel like the time is right for you, by all means, go ahead and do it. But you don't have any business getting pregnant in your early 20s. This is the time you're setting yourself for success in your 30s. Spend that time and energy setting yourself up. Number five, planned pregnancies. Guys, let me tell you one thing. Getting a child is a beautiful thing, and if you actually want to do it, by all means, go ahead. But you know what? Since it's something that's being planned for, it pays to actually pay for it in advance. Get a cover that can pay for your pregnancies all through, from the prenatal all the way to the child getting born. An insurance cover will get, charge you like 30K, or anywhere upwards from that, and you can always pay slowly, so that when the time comes for you to get a, when the baby is ready to come, you don't need to pay a single dime. And also caters for your emergencies. Can you imagine if you need an emergency C-section or something like that? Get insurance, guys. Number four, investing. So you've been saving up for a while and you have some, you know, like a stash somewhere and you think of where to use it. Number one tip in investing. Guys, invest in something you know about and you have knowledge about. Don't go investing in things that are about, uh, you know, being speculative and such. Only do so if you have right information. If it's land, know things about land. If it's a matter of bonds, know things about land, uh, about bonds. Invest in a field you're an expert on. That's why the most successful people actually invest in things that they actually know about. Number three, time is equal to money, guys. I want you to think, uh, think about it like this. Your time is the potential to earn money or it's time you could be using to make money. Stop giving your, your time for free. If guys want your advice on something, chances are they're willing to spend for it. And it also helps you stop wasting time on useless things. Number two, Spend more to live closer to your hustle. Guys, if you consider your time money, you'll spend less of it getting stuck in Nairobi traffic and you know how bad it is. It's okay to spend more to live closer to your hustle so that you can get there closer and faster. And finally, number one, numero uno, and this is my favorite, guys. In your 20s, do not be a spectator. Think about it. You're not committed down to anything. You don't have a family to raise. You're done with your school fees. You've just gotten your first job. So take this time to take those chances. Go out, travel, you know, take those risks, start that side hustle. Do everything you can imagine so that it will help you discover what you actually want to do with the rest of your life. And that's why all my friends are ballers. Hey, what's up? My name is DJ Protege and you're watching The Source.